Hi, I'm Killian from Oculize, and now we're going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to use our device so you can get started with your measurements. Now I'll be showing you how to use the Oculize fermentation wine. Let's begin with dilution. This is what you'll need to make sure your yeast is well mixed. Step 1. Fill your measuring cylinder with 99 milliliters of water. Step 2. Fill your Pasteur pipette with yeast to 1 milliliter. Step 3. Empty the Pasteur pipette into the measuring cylinder. Step 4. Run the solution in and out of the pipette three times to make sure it's completely empty. Step 5. Take the Pasteur pipette and stir a few times. Now it's diluted. In order to determine the viability of the yeast, it must be stained. We recommend using methylene violet. Here is what you'll need for staining. Take 0.5 milliliters of the diluted yeast sample and put it into the reaction tube. Then take 0.5 milliliters of methylene violet solution and put it into the same reaction tube. Mix the samples by running the solution in and out of the pipette a few times. Now let's load the chamber. If you're only measuring concentration, use the diluted sample. If you're measuring concentration and viability, use the stained sample. Use the Pasteur pipette to load a small sample. Pipette this into either one of the chamber openings. Capillary forces will pull the sample through the chamber. If you're doing concentration, allow one minute for the sample to settle. If you're doing concentration and viability, allow for a total of five minutes for the stain to take effect and the sample to settle. Now that the chamber is ready, let's start measuring. Firstly, let's plug our compatible device into the microscope. The microscope is powered by the mobile device and the red light will illuminate when the two are successfully connected. Step 1. Open the app and check the settings. Here you can change the language, how many images you capture, chamber height, your choice of staining dye, cell size slider, units of sugar density, sharpness indicator, resolution, manual counting function and warning options. Step 2. On the main menu, you can choose to either start a new fermentation, continue an ongoing fermentation, complete a single measurement or check your history. To begin, we are going to complete a single measurement. Step 3. Here you can check your concentration or your concentration and viability. Since we have stained our sample with methylene violet, we will be checking our concentration and viability. Step 4. Place the sample chamber under the microscope. Slide the sample chamber up to the first marking, lightly screwing it into place, turning the focusing wheel counterclockwise. Step 5. Continue focusing until cells come into focus. You will feel the wheel tighten slightly as the pad comes into contact with the chamber. Be sure not to over tighten as this can damage the chamber or the optics. Step 6. Take the image. The sharpness indicator on the bottom left helps you to take optimally focused images. Aim for the highest number possible. This number will differ from image to image. Focused images should look like this. Step 7. Click keep if you are happy with the image. Step 8. You must conduct this step five times, turn the focusing wheel clockwise to release the chamber before moving into the next marking. Click keep if you are happy with the image, each time moving the position of the chamber to the respective marking. Step 9. In the sample field, enter the name of your sample. Date and time are automatically entered. 
If you follow this video, you can enter one part sample and 99 parts water for the dilution and one to one for the sample mix ratio of coloring agent. If required, you can change your start date of fermentation. Include whatever you would like in the comment section. We recommend where the sample was taken from, the type of yeast and the generation of yeast. Finally, press the next step button. Your results will then be sent to the cloud for analysis with the results being sent back to your device. This analysis and reporting will normally take less than a minute. The results of the analysis are easy to follow. On the top left of the screen in the burgundy circle is the concentration of the sample in million cells per milliliter. In the tiny yellow circle is the percentage of cells that are budding. In the violet circle is the viability percentage. You can view the breakdown of the cells by size with the histogram, showing a distribution of the cell sizes in the sample. The burgundy bars indicate live cells, and the violet bars stacked on top show the distribution of dead cells. Scroll down further and you can see how the algorithm has identified the cells. The green cells are the living cells, the violet cells are dead, while the yellow color indicates budding cells. The pitch rate calculator is accessible through the gray arrow. To track a fermentation from beginning to end, you will need to press Start a new fermentation. Step 1. On this page, fill in as much information as you can to maintain accurate records. When completed, click the Done button. Your batch is now ready to be monitored. Step 2. To begin monitoring, click on Ongoing Fermentation. Then find the analysis you would like to continue tracking. Press the plus button. From here, it's like completing a single measurement. Complete the analysis like you normally would. You can continue adding analyses to your batch of fermenting wine until it has finished fermenting. You can check on the progress by clicking on the fermenting batch name. Here you can check on the progress of your concentration, your viability and sugar density. By double clicking on a particular analysis, you can revisit the results. Step 3. Once the fermentation has finished, press the flag button and your fermentation will be finalized and sent to the history. The history enables the winemaker to check on past results of fermentation, single measurements and unfinished analyses. For fermentations, click on the batch you would like to see. There you can see all the details of what went into the batch, along with a graph which plots your concentration, viability and sugar density from start to finish. Simply double click on the analysis to see what the individual result was. For single measurements, click on the analysis you want to check on. Finally, unfinished analysis will be listed. In order to guarantee optimal analysis, the chamber must be cleaned and dried immediately after each use. Step 1. Fill the syringe with distilled water. Step 2. Carefully rinse the chamber. Step 3. Use the bellow to dry the chamber. Carefully blow air through the chamber and optionally use a small piece of tissue or cotton swab at the end to collect excessive water. 